So we're coming across a good few hangers this morning. This is what I would call a hanger. It hasn't really officially fallen, but you can see it was heavy with fruit. Then uh, over here, this oak tree has lost a few branches. There's a bigger branch there. This mighty oak tree has shed one, two, three branches, and I think that belongs to it as well. So that's four branches from this lovely oak tree. So I'm gonna go and see if I can find anything more. So it's always sad to see an oak tree losing branches, but hopefully it's strong enough. This shed has an awful reputation for blowing over, so I'm kind of surprised it didn't, which means the wind came from a direction which it wasn't affected. So, the rams are okay. They're all the dogs being bumptious. The alpaca are fine. I let them into that paddock just now. They're eating all the windfall apples in there. But I'm gonna go a walk along that line of beech trees and see if there's anything else down here. The sun is shining weakly out of the clouds as the clouds continue to race by. Here's, what is this? This is a beech tree uh, branch. Must have been torn off of one of these trees here by the direction it's blown. So very luckily, all the beech trees, which are very, very mature, so towards the end of their life, are still standing. And nothing along that fence line. This is the top field, the dry field, the windiest field, known as the wind charger. So, so far, only branches, ah, and a bundle of my electric fencing has blown all the way up here. I don't know where that was piled up, or it was probably wound up somewhere and the wind picked it up and blew it. In that field, everything looks okay. Even the electric fence is still standing where the horses have been grazing. So, so far, only branches. Dread coming up to the orchard to see what trees are down. This is only a hazel branch but the floor is littered with apples. Absolutely littered. And all the sheep, they're all in the shelter. All taking shelter from the wind. Hey ladies. But, thankfully, it looks like no apple trees are down yet. The storm isn't over. It's still blowing with gusts. So the orchard looks fine, which is fantastic news. And there's quite a windfall of apples. I wonder if anything's down in the woodland. I'll have to go walk down in the woods 
and see if there's anything blown down. But so far, so good in the orchard. How's the tinies? How's the tinies? Yes, yes. How are you? Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Well, we lost one of our green gauges, which didn't have any fruit this year because the late frost. So this is one of the green gauges, but it looks like it wasn't very healthy. It had, it was uh, not well anyway by the looks of it. So that's one less fruit tree, sadly. My wonderfully prolific garden has been literally blown over. Uh, I was getting loads of peas and beans and runner beans and all kinds of things. So it's not looking very good. And my purple sprouting broccoli looks like it was really mashed through. The strawberries seem fine. The pumpkin's low to the ground, so it probably is okay. But my peas and beans and sunflowers uh, oh, they're literally pulled up by the roots. My tomatoes, woohoo, look, they've all been torn off their strings. So, not very good. There's, this is going to be the first tomato. It's been such a dark summer that I'm only getting my first ripening tomato now, almost. Yeah, no, it got... Uh, very battered, my garden, my little garden. I'm very sorry about my beans and peas. If I had a glass house, some of these might turn into fruit. But it's so late in the year, I doubt I'll get very much, if any, at this stage especially with them all being so battered and torn about. This wonderful cooker has shed loads of its apples that weren't quite ready. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'll have to pick a lot up and make some applesauce and apple crumble and things like that. There's apples everywhere. Apples, apples, apples. Well, this is very sad. This big old tree has lost half of itself. I think it's time we plant a new tree here. There's only so much of it left. Oh, there goes my hat. It's blown away. But that's very sad. It's very rotten. It's been slowly dying for years, this poor tree, and we were hoping to keep it going for as long as possible. But it's looking very rotten up there. Very rotten. And it's always a bad sign to see those big mushrooms. This is always a sign that a tree is at the end of its life, are these big they're so huge. They're like a death knell to a tree. They're sucking the last sugars. You can see this huge one under here. They're sucking the last sugars out of the tree. But if you look up there, you can see it's just basically rotten. So the wind took her down. I used to swing on this tree as a child. Still as an adult, it did too. Say its days are over, sadly. It's like saying goodbye to an old friend when you see a tree like this go. See, there's those mushrooms are all around it. All around it are those huge mushrooms. You can see all growing up in there. There's a young one growing here out of its rootstock, so that might work. I don't know. Very sad seeing an old friend die. Many of you have asked 
And yes, the oak tree stands. The oak tree stands beautifully. There's still bits of the storm blowing. But the oak tree still stands. She still stands, always grateful after a big storm that she's still there, having lost a huge one a few years ago in another field. Love these old oak trees. <laughs>